Everybody's uh, All-American pick. Everybody's a Butkus pick. Brian is a key player out there. Must be noted, last year was Brian's first starting year. In the lone setback, two tight end offense now for the Miners. Paul Smith with it, hanging on to it. Met after a gain of three or four that time, and I think it might have been Stacy Washington that uh, first stood him up, and Mike Barnett also there. Just 14 wins since then. Lobos offside. Didn't matter. Quick pass to the tight end for the first down. And once again, that's Natkin again. Brian Erlacher on the stop. But one of the last year, he's communicating with defensive coordinator Bronco Mendenhall. And the Miners will get another first down. Harper, second and ten. Little delay. Smith has some room. No, brought down nicely. Both down. And that's Erlacher with it. Down to the 50. He's got to beat the quarterback. Hesitates. And he's going to go all the way. No, they're saying he stepped out at the 30. But at least he got the fumble, Mike. Did he get the fumble? That is the dead. ruling. Erlacher stepped out at about the 30-yard line, but the Lobos will take over from there. Got a Lobo player down on the 30, Mike. Let's zero in on that and see if we can determine who it is. Brian Erlacher wanted to be more of a playmaker this year than he was last year. Had a lot of tackles, but didn't cause as many fumbles. Wasn't in on the turnover category like he would like. Here he was involved directly and almost got six points. The pressure... The pressure defense, the pressure defense has got to create turnovers. It was designed to create turnovers, and here it gets one right here. Ball ripped out. That's Erlacher's Bar right Barnett. there. Barnett does the strip, and Erlacher's right there and in position to make the play, and that's what the Lobo defense has to do. It didn't get it done last year. It got it done on about the 10th play this season. Well, let's see if he steps out of bounds. And it looks like he did right there, and that's where the official marked it. And credit Perez, the quarterback, a little guy for helping save a touchdown. But just an excellent defensive. He's a little nervous back there, so let's see how they do it. Well, you put a little pressure on him. Already have him in the NFL. First punt, a little bit low. Not that deep. Fumble! There it is. It's on the ground. There it is. Matt scramble for it, and it looks like UTEP got it back. Force that turnover and be in position look to make who, a big play. Look who was there, Brian Erlacher. Three were the best of them. That's what they were in then. Third down and 10. Shotgun Perez cross the middle, hits his secondary tight end, but he's not going to get the first down. Clipper Johnston. Johnston. We're converging on the wide receiver. Watch him converge on the wide receiver and stand him right up. That's a hit right there. There's Rant watch, for you. Watch Brian come in and finish him off. There's another hit. Boom. UTEP will go a little bit by Brian Erlacher doing a nice job on the tight end, Johnson. Hang on to him, Brian. You know, Brian's trying to get better at the coverage, and I think that's a good example of his effort. Well, he does a lot better when he can grab the guy by the jersey. <laughs> <laughs> From the shotgun, third and three. Blitz coming, tipped in the air. Ranty Harper intercepts it. Erlacher tipped it in the air, and Harper, did he get in? Did he get the score? No, they'll say he was brought down and tripped at about the sixth. Erlacher tipped it. And Harper just waited for it like a pop fly in play. Major League Baseball. There it is. Come on, Ranty. Good blocking on uh, the thing, and I think he got These are Mountain West officials, too. Yuck. Smith, will gain a yard. Ranty Harper there along with Brian Erlacher. Ranty. Second down play. Knapp is the fullback. Up to Smith, who gets to the five-yard line. Third and five, Mike. They have uh, enough room right now to... Here. 5.08 left, first half. Long count. Up the middle to Smith. Erlacher brings him down. A solo tackle there, but uh, Smith gained four, maybe five yards on the first down play. That's, a, that's what Erlacher's back there do. Erlacher starts eight and a half yards deep, and he comes up to four and a half yards deep on the snap of the ball. You'll see him doing that here. Now, he's not supposed to have anybody to tackle if the other guys have done their job. Didn't happen right there, so there he is. Four and a half yards deep, takes him down. Runner gets a yard, past the four and a half, picks up five yards. Boy, that's a lot of tackles from last year, isn't it? 178, only one game. Uh, Erlacher was not in double figures in tackles. Just the He's improving. That was a, yes, that was a yes, much yes. better technique on that play. A sloppy handoff, but Smith comes out of the pack with it, and Erlacher brings him down. It'll be third down now for the UTEP Miners, and uh, uh, good thing that Brian Erlacher was there. I mean, it was kind of a funny play from the get-go. Well, that was that inside uh, draw that they ran so effectively against the Lobos last year. Shotgun now. Two wide receivers to the top of your screen. Here comes naked. Somebody naked Pressure right there. Again. 
caught into New Mexico territory. We get a look at the quarterback and the wide receiver, Mays. Watch the cornerback up here. He's playing too soft. Let's him go. Should be making better plays than that. Well, but Casey hasn't played a lot, and he's a, he's a backup at that position. It's just too bad because 